Uh, we want to welcome you um, to this program, and again, it's one of my favorite times of the year. This launches for me um, the holiday season, and this, I, I just love the holidays, but the cultural Thanksgiving uh, awards dinner uh, actually marks the beginning of my NCA's holiday season. Um, we have seven community members uh, and organizations here tonight, and we're, we're not going to uh, be long, but we are going to be strong. Amen? Yeah. Uh, if amen comes out, I'm going to preach it, so you, you just get it. Y'all get it. If I get amen back, we'll move quicker. Um, but we have seven community members and organizations that we will be honored tonight for being lanterns of hope in Europe. Each of these individuals has positively impacted the lives of you and especially our, our Rising Stars program. When we call your name, we're going to ask that you please come forward to receive your award. You are welcome to say a few words, of, and, and they already told me my words have to be short, so naturally yours will be too. But I got Jose back there, and he'll preach a sermon if I allow him to. Um, but we will be prefacing each word or each award with a quote that we believe best captures their work and impact. Now this is, uh, and, and these recipients are truly lanterns of hope in and to our community. And when you think of a lantern, you think of something that shines a light. And even in the midst of COVID-19, without this room would be full. Some of you have been here before. We got 300 people in here for, for our cultural Thanksgiving. Naturally, have to be limited. We, we were in the new era of stream and, and all of that stuff. Uh, but even COVID-19 can't block out the light that these lanterns have sh are shining in our community. Is that all right? Um, just a brief interlude, and we're going to go on to our, our last two awardees, last but certainly not least. Uh, I just want to remind you again that uh, of the importance of Thanksgiving. Um, not just in giving thanks, although we should on all the things that we've been blessed with, especially here in the United States, but also having thanks in our giving. And what we're looking at tonight and, and, and reflecting on tonight and honoring tonight are people who have been giving back um, to their communities. That's what this celebration is all about. Um, just be thankful for what you have. You may not this Thanksgiving Thursday uh, get get the whole 20 pound turkey, but even if you just get the wishbone, be be thankful. Y'all supposed to laugh at that. Be be thankful for that. Be thankful for whatever it is that God blesses you with. Just be thankful. Um, that could be in your time, your talent, your treasure, however you want to, but these lanterns of hope are shining a light on this community, which is sometimes in darkness, but they're shining a light of hope. That's what lanterns do. The Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw said, I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live, it is my privilege to do for it whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die. Oh, this is good, George. For the harder I work, the more I live. Our next awardee is my brother, Tavon Parker. Devon, Devon was born and raised in York, PA at William Penn Senior High School. Tavon excelled in sports and received a basketball scholarship to Millersville University. Unfortunately, his grades declined and he lost his scholarship, which forced him to drop out and move back home. He fell in with the wrong crowd and started selling drugs. He was eventually arrested and served 14 months in state prison. These experiences led Tavon to turn his life around. 
and he has dedicated his life to helping others get to the next level by working to change the narratives. He formed the nonprofit, the Advantage Program, to empower youth, uh, provide uh, mentorship, and work on sustainable life plans that overall will contribute to changing the narrative. Tavon now also connects with students at his former high school to help them realize their goals in life. And I think I peeked in the gym one morning and he was talking to our kids here at the Christmas Addicts Charter School. So without further ado, Tavon Parker, please come. Good evening. Uh, first and foremost, giving glory and honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, thank you to my family, my wife, my brother, my grandparents, as well as my mom and my daughter for uh, obviously coming here today, as well as everybody else. One of the biggest things that I continue to hear over and over is uh, sacrifice. And uh, a lot of times people don't realize, but the awardees aren't the ones that are actually sacrificing. A lot of times it's the people that you guys don't see, like my wife and my daughter, like my brother and my parents that allow me to be able to be in a position that I can come and give time, that I can give back. So I thank them for that. Um, as, they, as my bio said, uh, I'm just a chocolate kid from the south side of York, PA. I grew up in the CA, and it's just so humbling and it's such an honor to receive an award from a program that you grew up in. When I, uh, I received my vision to try to help the youth and empower the youth. I didn't receive a vision with awards. I didn't receive a vision with accolades. It was a vision of, this is what I want you to do, go do it. And I just kind of try to answer that call every single day. So again, I want to thank you guys for uh, taking the time to acknowledge me for this award. It's obviously humbling. Uh, thank you guys for the sacrifice and thank you guys for your contribution to the city, through the CA, and through your own endeavors as well. Thank you. Lights glowing from the lives of these individuals that we've recognized tonight. They have truly been lanterns of light uh, in this community, and we thank you. Let's let's give a round of applause for all.